So we've been making a bit of progress on the, the rack this morning. One of the things I always like to do, I always do this with 2604 as well, is I always like to make sure the rack is free. I always like to be able to see it. There you go. All six coming in and out at this side as they should. Just on my one today. Again. Marcus and Joseph were on this last week. See that one at the end sticking. Just not 100 percent happy with that. It's in the stuck in position. Um, I need to give that a bit working off camera, I think. That's why I always like to see what's going on, especially when they're lying dormant for as long. professional and pick up the spanner so we have to pause this. Some of you guys asked about bleeding the about bleeding the pump so what we tend to do is we give this a bit wipe. Two hands for this. Possibly one of my granddads. Oh, there you go. Mm. So there you go. There's the pumps. It's quite interesting. You can hear the oil pressure cutting in and out there. That must be up to pressure. Quick actually. Yeah, there it goes again. I don't know if you can hear that cutting in and out. Anyway, where's my light? I always seem to end up losing my light. There it's there. At last, right. A wonderful day, isn't it? Yeah. I was about to say welcome to Scotland, but I guess we're not in Scotland. Right. One of the first things I always do is um, open the side doors in the local I just a couple of reasons for that. I like to let the light in. Um, I always like to have a quick exit if I need to. Not that I've ever really had to. So one of the first things I did in 2604 as well was um, had the side doors open. And Jeffrey said, oh, we've never had them open. And I said, well, I'm not that fussy, I can always weld them up. Now, what I want to show you here is, and I've got my spanner this time, is I've actually slackened these injectors off. Just at the top. And we've also got the, the decompressors out. And if I'm really professional, which I'm going to be, I'll put my hand on one and bring one round and show you. So that screws in there, but the idea is we're going to turn it over with the decompressors out and we're going to give it full beans and see if we can um, see if we can bleed it out of here, which will give us a 
better chance of trying to get some fuel into compress when we start it. So, wish me luck. This is us, we've been looking at the ERS today, that's the engine run stop solenoid, that essentially um, allows this rack to um, adjust the fuel and you see it, you see it going in and out there. Um, it's controlled by an engine run stop solenoid, which is this thing here. And I established it was getting power because when I was spinning it over earlier I had a voltmeter on it and I could see that it was um, I see it was energizing. So what you do here is you pull this out and then yeah. I suspect it's meant to go a lot further than that. Do is I'll, um, I'll include some stomatics. The other seven expert has been very kind of coaching me and supplying me with this week. And um, yeah, Let's see if we take that apart. It's a solenoid essentially and it moves this um, plunger up and down. So, there you go. That's where we are. The 742 this week. I did see a wee bit of fuel coming out of one of the. Um, it wasn't the pump, it was the, yeah, sorry, it was the, the injection pipe at the top of the pump. Kind of part of me is beginning to think. Pressurise that, but if you look here, that's the um, that's the end of the fuel rail. When when you take that out to use my secret mentor's favourite word, it vomits out. So, hmm, what's to think about? So there you go. That's where we are today. Better go up the road. I'm home alone in the car. It's fed. Thanks for your interest and support. Cheers, bye bye. Dry. Obviously, wait, wait, wait. Dry. Wait. So that's only two at this side. So this side's definitely better. Trying to start a thirty-seven on car batteries. Am I mad? Possibly. Let's see what happens next thing. Yeah, the batteries are only, they were only 70%. I actually found, um, I found three of them. I'm oh, sorry to tell a lie. Two of them that were only good. They were, obviously the current's been too much for them. And they've killed them. Um, but, I even had to put one on for my tractor. So, not ideal. Yeah, Flight of the Phoenix continues. Until the next time, thanks again. Bye-bye.